Hey, Andre, we've got some breaking news. Some and, gossip. And it's a rumor. So, yes. guys, we're going to pass along the rumor because we do have a fair amount of confidence that this actually may be happening. But take it with a grain of salt because we don't have official confirmation of this. Right. This is not coming from General Motors, no. but uh, from an inside sources, I yep. would say. And we're going to be talking about, well, a new monster Duramax. Yes. And what do we do with TFL Truck, Roman? What are we famous for? Creating AI images no. of trucks that don't exist? No. <laughs> We're famous for the Ike Gauntlet, oh, okay. the world's toughest towing test. And this was just a few months ago where Mr. Truck and I and the rest of the team were towing very heavy trailers on the tallest highway in the land. Yeah, and you know, GM has always kind of been, well, I wouldn't say second fiddle to Ford, but certainly has been, you know, not at the highest tow ratings, not at the highest output of the Duramax, yeah. but that may be changing. Yes. So the latest rumor yep. we have is that General Motors may be working on the next version of their Duramax V8 engine, which could be larger displacement. 8.3 liters. Could be 8.3 liters and could have upwards of 600 horsepower yep. and 1,200 pound feet of torque. Now, Jim's not calling it the Mega Max. We are calling it the Mega Max. Oh, you like this name, right? Yes, I do. But there's a problem. What's that, Andre? Uh, I googled Mega Max, yeah. and it turns out to be an adult diaper. Well, when you get that much torque, Andre, you're going to, you know what, your pants. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe Mega Max is not such a bad idea. Okay. So here's the thing. Yeah. Because we drag race this truck. Yes. Uh, so we have fun with trucks. We, we, we drag race them. There's Mr. Truck flying. Um, That's quite the shirt he's wearing. <laughs> America. Uh, we drag race them. So we, we recently did this uh, Ram Comments versus GM Duramax versus Ford Power Stroke. And where can people see that video? Uh, AllTFL.com. Yeah, yeah right. because that's the latest news. Yeah. And look at this table. GM and Ford were almost neck and neck. I mean, this is the quarter mile times. Uh, eighth of a mile, they're about four tenths off. And then at the quarter mile, Ford is pulling away. Yeah, and this is, of course, representative of the towing power that the truck has. Yeah. Not necessarily, you know, because it's going to be taken to the drag strip. No, but here's the Ike result, right? Yeah. So we tested the F350 dually with that 27,000 pound trailer I showed you. Ford did three brake applications, 10 minutes, six seconds up, and 2.5 mpg. This is climbing uh, uh, eight miles up the steepest grade. And GM, one brake application more. Uh, what, 13 seconds more. Yeah. So they're neck and neck, but they're not winning. No, they're not winning. And no. let's, let's face it, Andre, um, there is room for improvement, and the Duramax is getting kind of long in the tooth, right? And unlike, let's say, Ford, that actually dropped its F-150 diesel engine, yeah. GM has gone all in on that three-liter right. diesel. So GM is certainly uh, not shying away from diesels. No, they're not. And their three-liter Duramax straight six is an amazing engine. They really know their diesels and other engines. They're famous for their V8s. So, so there is some credibility here, right? I'm sure, I mean, this is a rivalry, right? I mean, this Power fight- Power versus Duramax. It's, I mean, this fight has been happening for decades. It's like cats and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. So I'm sure GM is looking at that. And they've always said, it's not really the size of the engine. It's, you know, it's the motion of the ocean, right? It's, how do you put down the power? That's what, that's what I used to say when I was in high school, Andre. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's how much power you actually put down on the ground. They have a 10-speed Allison branded transmission, but Ford also has a 10-speed. Uh-huh. Uh, so, so how, how about, do you solve that? How about Cummins? Well, Cummins, yeah, well, uh, well, you know, Cummins yeah. has got its own issues. As you guys know, we've so, got a series of stories now where Cummins is recalling or I should say uh, Ram is recalling the Cummins. 960, potentially 1,000. Cummins engines. Yeah, yeah, over a million, almost a million yeah. trucks because of emissions issues. So where, where does that leave Cummins in this battle? Well, I mean, they're still there, but they haven't redesigned their engine either. Yeah. I mean, their engine currently produces 420 horsepower and 1,075 or 1,050 pound-feet of torque. And remember, you and I were in Texas several years ago. I'm sorry, yes, 1,075 pound-feet of torque. This is the Cummins currently. So how would the Mega Max which is what we're calling it, 8.3 compared to the Chev, I mean, to the uh, Power Stroke and to the Cummins. So we, it would have substantially more horsepower. Well, yeah, if the 600 horsepower number rumor is correct, is true, yeah. if the rumor is true, yeah. this is blow the Cummins continuously out of the water. And 200 um, pound foot of torque more. So, yeah. 
well, 1,200 pound-feet of right. torque, which is about 125 more. Uh, I'm really Ford, bad at math, Andre, sorry. Ford, Ford uh, currently has 100, well, here is some data. Ford currently is at 500 horsepower and 1,200 pound-feet of torque. So this rumor says the GM may tie them for torque, yep. but still blow Ford away with horsepower. What would be the advantage to a large displacement diesel? How, well, how does that does that give you better fuel economy? Does that give you more durability? Yeah, because you know these power wars are fun for us to talk about. Yeah. But is it actually usable, right, in the yeah. real world? That's what you're trying to get to. I'm not an engine engineer, mm -hmm. right? But I imagine I can play one on video. Okay, great. Uh, no, I inter I interview engineers that design engines. I'm just right? teasing you. I drink them out. People know that. We no, know. no, but I think emissions has to do a lot with it, right? Yeah. Because well, they've been at 6.6 .6 liter Duramax since 2001. It's been 23 years. I used to own the first gen Duramax. It was a good engine then, and they've improved it since. But why would you go in the up, up in displacement like that? Must be just, you know, efficiency has to be a part of it as well. well. I'm wondering if, if you wouldn't increase the weight of the engine, right? Because now your cylinder is larger. larger. Like that, right? Um, so you could potentially have uh, lower RPM, higher torque, Yes. Uh, so it could run a little bit less hot. Uh, I don't know what it does to emissions, you know, uh, uh, but it would certainly, you know, uh, you know, take it up from 6.6 .6 way past the power stroke. Uh, and 8.3 is a lot higher than 6.7 in, in the world of diesel engines, you know, that's usually a good thing. But what about, what if you flip the script? Okay. What if you say, okay, GM, what about a hybrid? What about adding a little bit of electricity to the to the like mix? Like Toyota, yes, like uh, like Ram. the latest, yeah, like the latest Toyota Tundra hybrid, right? You add a little electric motor between the engine and the transmission, and it adds torque, it adds some efficiency, it adds power, and then you're still you know kind of counteracting some of the emissions. I think we'll see that, but out of the compact, midsize, full size, and heavy duty trucks, I think. HD trucks will be the last to see hybridization. I'm just, that's just kind of my gut telling me uh, that I, I think, you know, electric motors will be first of some kind seen in the full size truck and then it'll spread, you know, both up and down uh, size wise. But I think guys and gals that like big old diesels will continue to like big old diesels, even though electrification has potential to provide a lot more torque. But as we have seen, and as you guys know, um, the density of the battery is just not there for, for long distance towing and the time to recharge is not there right now for long distance towing. So it would, it would severely shorten your towing range and severely lengthen your fill up range. Well, fill that's up time. Yeah, and that's why, but there's another benefit of hybrids, right? The F-150 hybrid has a lot of export power, right? 7.2 kilowatts, you could weld off of it, you could charge power but your house. But the diesel engine could do the same thing. But there's nothing available right now. If you look at PowerStroke, Cummins, or then Duramax. That's a good, why not? Yeah, why not? Why why, not? Why, where's the inverters? You yeah, know, the why? inverter on a diesel engine, that, not just power your house, but you could power your street, Andre. <laughs> I'm sure you could power your neighbor's house. You know, that's a big power. Yes. That's yeah, a big where, where, where's that? Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Why, yeah, come on, guys. Where, where's that? Get yeah. with the program. So anyway, so this is really exciting news. Um, not but, just because we love, you know, having fun and drag racing, but because, you know, you can haul heavy weights and do it maybe a little bit more efficiently, maybe a little bit cleaner and better emissions. Do we have a timeline on when this new Megamax? Yes, a rough timeline. We do, okay, good. Uh, the information we have is 2026, so we could be still a year and a half to two years away. So that's, guys, that's all we have. Let us know in the comments below whether you think that you would be interested in a bigger Duramax. And of course, keep in mind the Mega Max. Or a smaller Duramax. Or smaller, well, there is a smaller Duramax. <laughs> but if that's something that would, you know, if you're, you know, leaning toward a heavy duty diesel truck, if that's something that would change your buying decision, um, and would you applaud GM for that, or would you give them the thumbs down uh, for creating a bigger diesel engine? Now, last question, Andrew, before we wrap this up. Does this have implication beyond the heavy duty segment when you get into kind of the, you know, the, the, like the 550s and the uh, it, 550, it, you know, five, not right. 550s, that'd be Ford language, but five, you know, five and a half. 5500. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, no. So GM is playing in that space right yeah, now, they are, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. they, they're teamed up with International, right? They have the truck, you know, 4500, 5500, 6500. The future of the truck is unclear to me because it's kind of a different chassis, right? It's not a GM chassis that they're using. 
uh, for that. Uh, but big rigs, right, big trucks have larger displacement engines, right? So I think it could make sense. Maybe even motorhomes. You know, motorhomes use a lot of the same chassis and a lot of the same powertrains. Uh, so this could have more implications than just a pickup truck. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Remember, go to altfl.com for the latest and greatest in breaking, in this case, heavy-duty news. And uh, we shall see you next time. Right, Andre? Thank you very much. Ciao.